Good morning, Plymouth Elementary. This is Charlie Mills. Welcome to this week's episode of the Panda Press. I'm Tatiana Booker Harris. We are excited to bring you the school news here at PE. This is Silas Ruszewski. And I'm Nash Till. Let's get our paws on the latest news. In our first story, our PE kindergartners got to enjoy a field trip to the Elmwood Park Zoo last week. These pandas enjoyed getting to explore and learn more about different types of wildlife. A big thank you goes out to our awesome teachers, parents, volunteers, and PTO for making this fun trip possible. Let's take a look at some highlights during their time at the zoo. As our school days wind down, many of us are excited to move up next year. Don't you wish you had advice on what to expect next year in your new grade and homerooms? Well, we decided to begin a segment to give you the inside scoop for each grade so that our parents can be ready. What advice do our current first graders have to give pandas moving up next year? Here are some tips. In first grade, my advice is you have a big math book. In first grade, my advice is you're going to rock first grade. In first grade, my advice is you're going to have a lot of fun. In first grade, my advice is that the expectations are the exact same. In first grade, my advice is not to be a boy. My advice for first grade is you must listen very carefully because the directions get very tricky in first grade. My advice for first grade is read your words carefully. My advice for first grade is being focused. My advice for first grade is keep your desk organized. On May 21st, some of our PE panels participated in a very special event held at Hatboro Horsham's High School Field. These pandas participated in Special Olympics on behalf of PE. <laughs> Not only did they have a great time, they even took home some winning ribbons. Let's take a look at these pandas having fun and making PE proud. Congratulations!
other first grade news, students have been working hard to learn about circuits and electricity in technology class. These pandas have been working hard with power tiles to build using knowledge and their creativity. First graders were recently challenging partners to carefully build a few challenges, including a cube car that moved when built correctly. Let's make a connection to see what they have been up to in technology. Way to go, pandas! This past Wednesday, May 29th, PE hosts its annual photo run on our upper field. Through everyone's hard work and generous donations, <laughs> way to go, pandas! <laughs> the money raised will help fight cancer by being donated to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Not only did we raise money for a great cause, but we also earned a water day on the last day of school. How cool is that? Here are some highlights from this year color one. <laughs>
And now let's turn to more members of our third grade news team for what's next on the Panda Press. Good morning, Plant Elementary. This is Brandon Trotman. We've got more great news for you today. I'm Dylan Thomas. It's great to be here. I'm Thomas Echo. Let's get a pause on the latest news. Next up in school news, we also asked this year's second grade class for their best advice for pandas moving up next year. Students moving up into second grade next year have a lot to look forward to, including getting to learn how to use Chromebooks in the fall. If you've been tuning into the Panda Press this year, then you know that second grade is definitely a fun grade. What advice could be helpful to someone going into second grade next year? Our pandas had some great ideas. Learning Hawaii math and making new friends. I want them to know that the field trips are very fun and the field trips are the, the Keswick Theater and the Elm One Park Zoo again. In second grade, you're going to be adding and subtracting three digit numbers. Second graders are, are hyper. Second graders learn a lot. Second graders only have two field trips, I think. In second grade, you get to do experiments in science. My advice for second grade next year is you should listen because like there's like there's gonna be like a lot of stuff like sometimes like you have to do stuff that's like really hard and you should pay attention to what like your teacher is saying so you can know what you're supposed to say and yeah that's it and in second grade you can do a lot of fun projects in math in second grade news, Miss Kelly's class has been hard at work in science. Our second grade scientists have been working hard to learn about seed structures and how seeds can travel. Here are some pictures that they shared to show us how much of their knowledge of life science is grown. In third grade news, students in Miss Smith's class learned about real life bridge designs in science. These pandas used their knowledge of force to build a strong bridge that would support as many pennies as possible using only paper. Some students' bridges were able to hold over 200 pennies. Wow! Way to go, third grade. Let's take a look. In other third grade news, students in Miss Alyssa's class have been learning the importance of how and when to tell jokes. Telling jokes is a great way to make friends, especially as our third graders get ready to meet new friends at CES in the fall. These pandas learned that being silly during learning time isn't the best choice, but telling jokes at lunch or recess can be a great idea. A special thanks goes out to Miss Quinn for helping our pandas practice growing their silly bones. Hey guys, why the, where do the crocodiles keep their money? Where? I don't know. In the river bank. <laughs> <laughs> why do hummingbirds hop? Why? why? Because they don't know the words. <laughs> <laughs>
Coach, where did the baseball team eat dinner? Where? At home plate. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, what do cats eat for breakfast? What? what? Mice Krispies. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the traffic stop? Why? Because the chicken was balking it. <laughs> <laughs> what did one hat say to the other? What? what? You wait here, I'll go on ahead. <laughs> Guys, yeah. yeah. Why did the robber clean his clothes? Why? So he can make a clean getaway. Oh. <laughs> Why did the circus lion not eat the clown? Why? Because they taste funny. <laughs> Why did the pony get sent to his room? Why? Because he wouldn't stop horsing around. <laughs> In sports this week, we can't even believe it, but the Phillies remain the best team in the league. This week, the Phillies will be taking on the St. Louis Cardinals and the Milwaukee Brewers. Good luck to our third grade chorus who will be performing our national anthem at Citizens Bank Park this weekend at a game. Have fun and make P.E. proud. Let's go Phillies! In our final story today, it's time to announce the Golden Ticket winners again this week. Keep doing a great job of earning those Golden Tickets at Arrival and the Special each day, Pandas. If you see your name announced, be sure to visit the main office today. Thank you for continuing to be responsible and respectful riders, Pandas. Let's check out our winners for this week. Thanks so much for joining us for this week's episode of the Panda Press. We hope that you'll join us next Friday for more of the latest news. Teachers and staff, be sure to share great things happening at PE for us to talk about. Signing off, this is Brayden Trotman, Dylan Thomas, and Thomas Sacco. Have a great Friday, Pandas! Signing out, this is Silas Roszewski, Nash Steele, Charlie Mills, and Tatiana Booker-Harris. Have a great Friday, pandas!